Greetings to the viewers of this video. In this video, we are going to see the ICH harmonized guidelines to use the solvents in pharmaceutical manufacturing. The objective of this guideline is to recommend acceptable amounts of residual solvents in pharmaceuticals for the safety of the patients. ICH guideline recommends use of less toxic solvents and describes levels considered to be toxicologically acceptable for some residual solvents. Now, let us see what is a residual solvent. Residual solvents in pharmaceuticals are defined as organic volatile chemicals that are used in the manufacture of drug substances or excipients or in the preparation of drug products. There are three class of solvents based on their level of toxicity. Class 1 solvents. These solvents are solvents to be avoided. Known human carcinogens, strongly suspected human carcinogens, and environmental hazards, comes under this. These class 1 solvents that are known to cause unacceptable toxicity, should be avoided in the production of drug substances, excipients or drug products. Example, benzene, is a carcinogen. Carbon tetrachloride is toxic and causes environmental hazard. 1,2-dichloroethane, 1,1,1-trichloroethane. The next is, class 2 solvents, are solvents to be limited. Class 2 solvents are non-genotoxic animal carcinogens, or possible causative agents of irreversible toxicity, such as neurotoxicity, or teratogenicity and also includes some reversible toxicity. Examples of class 2 solvents are acetonethryl, chlorobenzene, chloroform, cumin, cyclohexane, toluene, etc. These solvents are associated with less severe toxicity and should be limited in order to protect patients from potential adverse effects. The last class is class 3, which includes solvents with low toxic potential to man, no health-based exposure is needed. The permitted daily exposure, PDE, of these solvents is 50 mg, or more per day. Examples, acetic acid, acetone, anisole, formic acid, trithylamine and methyl acetate. Let us do a small revision. The objective of ICH guideline is to recommend the level of solvents in pharmaceutical products. Residual solvent is organic volatile solvent used in drug manufacturing. Based on level of toxicity, three class of solvents are available. Class 1 solvents are solvents to be avoided due to carcinogenicity. Example, benzene and others. Class 2 solvents are solvents to be limited due to their reversible or irreversible toxicity. Example, acetonethryl. Class 3 solvents are less toxic to man. Example, acetone. I have given a exercise in the description box below. By solving you can self-evaluate yourself. Thanks for watching.